All right, guys, some news updates for you guys is that we did sell the Aerial Rider Grizzly today. It is officially gone. Sad to see it. It's sad to see it go, but I mean, you know what? Like, it honestly wasn't my favorite bike. What the heck? can hear me okay i finally got my chin strap put on my helmet so if the audio is not coming across very well then i'm gonna remove it on the next video i only did this because it's super super cold now but uh if it's gonna affect my audio quality then i'll just remove it just so you guys can hear me all right but um but yeah the bike is gone the guy was super super cool he came from L.A. Awesome dude, man. Awesome dude. Okay. And uh, I let him ride all my bikes. I even let him ride the Suron. I let him ride the Aerial Rider. I let him ride everything. And uh, after he rode the Suron... Even though he already knew I modified it and all that stuff, he knows how they, they, they are stocked. But with how comfortable the bike is and, you know, how, how it feels and all that stuff, the riding position, he instantly told me, he was like, yeah, dude. He was like, I have to buy one of these now. Because once you ride all the bikes, they're just, they're so fun. And I let him ride the Onyx, and the Onyx, get this, the Onyx was at 70, I think 76 volts. It has been sitting in the last week. It has been chilling on the charger. It died on him. It like seriously just like died on him. Oh, man, come on. All right, I'm going. They're not going out. Okay. But yeah, as soon as he took off down the street, all of a sudden he started pedaling, and I was like, "What? What the hell happened?" And I guess it just died on him. I, he hit the power so hard that it had voltage sag, and it just cut off. And it's crazy because there's that 76 percent or se i'm sorry 76 voltage to me it makes absolutely no sense why the onyx would do that and that for that reason that's one reason why i am getting rid of my onyx too because i told the guy i said you can't even just use the keys and uh hit the alarm and turn it back on or flip the switch and turn it back on no you have to take the wood cover off get to the battery turn the battery off then back on give it like five seconds and then once it actually turns on you have to use the key to take the alarm off because the alarm is now on because you reset the battery and then you can get back on your way and then hopefully it doesn't happen again but you also have to put the wood cover back on so it's not it's not like a two second fix where you just flip the switch again so he saw how annoying that was i was like yeah dude it sucks i don't understand why the onyx is like that and honestly like for that reason that's why i don't want it no more it's not the most reliable bike i have like if i would have took it to work with it being at 76 volts i would have thought it would have got me to work no problem i would have charged it at work it didn't even get two houses down from me that's how bad it is i let him ride the super 73 too and he he liked the position uh he said the position of the bike was a lot better for him um he just said it doesn't have the power and honestly that's their biggest fall on super 73 is they just don't have the power but you sit on it and it's so comfortable of a bike but i get it you know people want to buy the aerial rider and then they uh spend a little bit of money on mods get an extended seat so you can sit far back and different handlebars to fix your riding style i get it i'm not hating on it I see why people do that it does have the power it's already there and it's going to be your best range i should have recorded the guy riding my bike because i went inside the house and then i came back outside and as soon as i popped outside i was like i just hear uh, someone go by just you and like it sounded like a jet engine almost but it was like very like subtle but it just sounded like something like mean outside was passing by he probably passed by doing like 60 miles an hour this thing sounds 
badass, dude. Like, I don't care how people say that the Surons are the loudest e-bike ever, dude. This thing sounds badass for what it is. Obviously, when I came out of my garage, I was only probably like 30 feet away from the street, you know? Um, but man, dude, like, <laughs> it's, it's so sick. And he was on it, too. So when you're on it, you're definitely going to hear this bike for sure. But uh, if you're not on it and you're just cruising, you you barely hear anything from this bike. You might hear the chains slapping around. That's most likely it. Come on, man. Go before this turn light. Man, you're going to try to mess me up, most. Oh, today's the day <laughs> today's the day I really felt the difference on my brakes the good thing is uh, the front one feels a lot better I don't know why the front one feels better um, but the back one is just went to crap like like oh my god it's <laughs> it's bad Traffic jam. Ooh. I was hoping someone of uh, my coworkers would be outside when I did that, but I doubt it. Damn, 199 amps max. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Come on, let me go. It's my turn. My turn. Man, some, some crazy stuff today. Um, actually, I think it happened yesterday. But uh, Shreddy McScape, his YouTube channel got deleted and banned, apparently. Um, I didn't even know. I was talking to, uh, I think it was Peter Parker, Super 73 guy. I was talking to him, and then I just happened to go on his, uh, I just happened to go on uh, the guy's Instagram story. And he was just talking, and I know he was talking about McShredder. I was like, oh, I just commented on this page the other day just to see what's up. Because he, he had a video that was going to be premiere soon. And sure enough, I guess someone got into his account and posted some type of por pornography or something like that. And uh, his channel is no longer. If you search up Shreddy McGate, you don't find his channel whatsoever. It's crazy. So as of right now, I saw his post and he said he's going to make a new YouTube channel, which that sucks ass, dude. Like, I feel so bad for the guy. So it must have been, I think it's honestly someone that's really probably close to him that had some beef with them or maybe worked with them in the past, didn't like him for some, whatever, some, some reason. And uh, anyways, if uh, once I get his new page, I will link it down in the description just so you guys know. Cause that's that's just crazy super crazy i i hope that don't ever happen to like me you know and i hope that if it does something does happen to me like that i really hope uh, the community can come together and uh you know you can kind of grow back your channel like pretty quick um i don't know if he has a lot of his videos saved like i know i do i have all the videos i've done on youtube i've had them all saved on my computer i have one folder it has every single youtube video i've done and uh, I still got the storage to even put more on there. But I save them on my computer just for backup, just in case. Because if I need to, I can go on YouTube if, you know, my account doesn't get messed up or, you know, broke into. I, uh, I can download them off of YouTube to have them. But I have them all, like, high quality. So I can upload all my stuff if anything happens. But, man, he's starting all over. 
man you can't help but just feel bad for the guy man like I, I don't even know like what else to say that's just a that's a horrible situation so hopefully everything works out good for that guy he seems like a pretty cool guy i like most of his content honestly that's one of the main reasons why i got an aerial rider because i think i saw his video first i wasn't a fan of the bike but it looked pretty cool and what it can do so um, yeah shout out to him just crazy 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 uh you know what let's go straight we never really go straight i got the next three days off i'm out of town after this so this, not, this video ain't getting edited for uh, well, probably, like, I would be honest, it's probably going to be, like, four or five days until I actually, like, get this video edited. But that's kind of good. Um, if I really have some content, I really need to get out super, super fast. Like, if it's really important, you know, I'll edit the video really quick and I'll post it. Um, but I do like having tons and tons of uh content on the daily so most of the time i try to you know have a few videos like in the books and stuff so then like i already have three like three videos going out and then if i miss a day it's not the end of the world because now i have two more videos that are still coming out the following days so that's kind of how i like to do my thing i don't like to be each every day be like oh my god i need to put a video out like you know tomorrow or something like that have nothing going up i hate that feeling i really hate that feeling and i'm doing like 57 right now trying to catch up i'll catch up on the turn though right now because they're gonna slow down. everyone slows down right here where i can go i can go faster yeah perfect yeah yeah Keep that. I think he is on an electric skateboard. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's a scooter. Never mind, it was a scooter. It looked like the taillights of a skateboard that a lot of the guys uh, locally in Fresno ride. They're super cool. I honestly wish I would have got those, but I got the thread light package instead. And uh, if you guys are interested, I do have my X-Way Atlas for sale. So if you guys close nearby, local, whatever, um, it's going to be for sale. The board, brand new, is uh, 1740, brand new. I do know there's like a, I believe like a five or uh, no, there's an eight percent coupon on the website, and then I also have my own discount code for X-Way if you want to order a board from them and i think it's another five or ten percent i don't know if you can actually add them together but um damn i wanted to go but um anyways i was gonna sell it for like about 1400 bucks and before you ask like oh you know like it's a uh, expensive i was gonna sell it for a thousand but i bought cloud wheels for it i bought aftermarket belts and i also bought um four extra pneumatic tires so i have four all-terrain i believe for it so wait i'm gonna shit i wasn't gonna sit there it didn't pick me up so i'm not gonna sit there forever um yeah, so I have eight all-terrain tires for it, 160 millimeters, and those are expensive. Um, I got a bass guard for the motor, I got a carrying handle, we got a remote cover, and then we got cloud wheels. And then I have about, I wanna say like six belts. Some of them are extra, and then some of them are for the cloud wheels, but I have extra for all of them. And uh, what else do we have? I know we have the quick charger for it, so it charges hella fast. 
Um, I got underglow for it. It's not going to come with the thread lights, but it is going to come with the underglow lights, which are green. And there's something else I'm forgetting, and I can't remember. But there's definitely something else that's up, that's on the skateboard that I'm forgetting. Oh, it has a uh, fenders. So the X-Way Atlas is one of those skateboarders that uh, you could put fenders all around the tires. Um, just for like, you know, uh, like water or mud or dirt or anything like that so it doesn't splash up on you. Um, I haven't put those on the board yet, but um, I have those also. So, so if you guys uh, want to hit me up, if you're interested in it, $1,400 bucks with all the accessories. If I didn't have all the accessories, I would have probably sold it for like $1,100 or something like that to be on the real but with all the extra stuff i have especially four tires that are brand new they're not even used like you got a bunch of like extra sets that are gonna last you like hundreds of miles so hit me up if you're interested and a uh, huge shout out to shreddy mcskate hopefully he gets his channel going again because i think his old channel is just completely done so see you guys in the next one peace out be safe out there love all you guys later